Hi, welcome to Good Feng Shui Good Life. I'm Vibin Lai. Today, I'm going to show you how to determine the feng shui sector of your house or your workspace just by using a normal compass. Here are the things we need. First of all, obviously, a magnetic compass. Preferably, you can get a tracking compass with a spinning mechanism like this. This spinning mechanism makes it easier for us to measure the direction of our house. Next up, we have the Good Feng Shui, Good Life Feng Shui Ruler. Now you can download this as a PDF. You print it out in a transparent piece of paper. Now when you print it out, it'll look something like this. Now here you can see like dots on the outside, eight dots and one dot in the center. Now what these are for is uh, for you to make a hole, to, to puncture this dot and how to use it, I will show you later. So you print it out in a transparent film, trim it down and put holes in the dots. Of course, uh, print out a few copies of the floor plan of your house and also some pens and ruler, a few colors and a simple ruler. First of all, to get the measurement of the external or the big Tai Chi measurement, we need to take the compass reading on the ground floor. This applies to both landed and high-rise properties. We must be at the ground level to take the reading. This is because there might be electromagnetic interferences in buildings that might affect the readings. So, standing in the ground level when making the measurement is very important. Step 1. Face the building that you want to measure. Try to find a perpendicular reference point to your unit structure. Something like straight pavements or brick lines are good reference points. In our example, we'll be using the pavement as our point of reference. Here, I'm using a clipboard to help better judge the angle visually. Once we get a straight line, it's time to take the measurement. Now, turn the compass to align north to the needle. In my compass, red is north. So I need to turn the compass to align north to the red needle. After that's done, we can get the actual direction reading on the red line. Our reading is 145 degrees. Step 2. Now that we have our reading, take out our floor plan printout. For easy reference, always write down the compass reading on the floor plan. And always take note of the floor plan orientation. This is the step where confusions can easily happen. Always remember in what direction you took the measurement. I took the measurement from the front, so I'll be drawing an arrow for my own easy reference. Step 3. If there are any gaps in your unit, you would want to extend the lines of the outer walls so that we can get a complete rectangle or square shape. This way, we can determine the center point of the unit. Find the edges of the unit, draw a cross. And there we have it. That's the center point of the unit. Step 4. When we have the center point of the building, we need to draw a right angled line from the center point, like so. Step 5. Put your good feng shui, good life feng shui ruler on the floor plan. Use the tip of your pen to hold it via the center point. Now, use the right angled line as the reference point and find the reading you got from the compass earlier. In our example, it's 145 degrees. So turn to 145 degrees. Then, hold down the feng shui ruler firmly. Use the pen to make markings on each of the eight holes. Step 7. Join the respective dots and form eight segments. Remember, each line must go through the center point. Step 8. Double check the feng shui ruler to make sure the reading is right. For beginners, I advise you to write down the direction and the name of each sector for easy reference.
Now, let's talk about how to take the measurement for individual rooms within the property, also known as the small Tai Chi. First of all, try to stand in the center of the room. Similar to the external measurement, find a straight line for easy reference. Once we get the reference point, align the north with the needle. Now we have a reading. Notice that our reading is a little different from the external measurement. This is what I meant by electromagnetic interference. Some units might show a big difference between the internal and the external measurement. This is electromagnetic fields at play. After that, steps are pretty similar to the Big Tai Chi method. Just apply it to individual rooms in the unit. There you go. Now you know how to determine the feng shui sector of your house. Stay tuned to Good Feng Shui Good Life for more useful feng shui tips.